Hello everybody, my name is Scott Valentine and I'm here to present you my tree project or project tree. Uh, kind of revamp the name. But anyways, uh, let's start off with my hypothesis. So I did two different tr species of trees. So based off that, since the two trees are different species, then one of them must lose their color for of their leaves faster than the other and then have their leaves fall quicker than the other. Uh, so the species of tree, uh, tree A is a quaking aspen and tree B is green ash and their tags read 1989 and 1412. Location of the trees, 1989 is left of the hive in the rock bed area. And you'll see in the picture where I'm more exactly I mean. And then 1412, it's behind the library into the right of Meyer Hall at that side entrance or second entrance close to facilities office. And then I frequently visit the trees every Tuesday if I could right after my biology lab, which began at 2 and then ended around somewhere around 3, I want to say. Uh, how I determine the leaf colors, I, I just went and used the leaf color chart that was provided to us, and <clears throat> uh, based the like the top portion of the leaf to that instead of the underside because that's a little bit different color and it wouldn't really show like change. over time better than the other side. Uh, so for week one, August 25th, 2020, the uh, tree A, which is on the right, had a 2.4 on the leaf color scale. So they were a lighter green, um, 1.2 on, uh, <laughs> on tree B, the green ash, it had a 1.2 in the leaf color scale because it had that dark green color to it. Uh, week two was the same for August 31st, 2020. And then also for week three for September 9th, 2020. Week four, I kind of forgot that I had to take pictures. So I kind of, er, I did it on my run and took pictures then. Um, but I don't know if the lights affected it, but tree B or the green ash color went up by 0.2 on the leaf color scale. <clears throat> and then week five, September 25th, 2020, um, the, I went and looked at it again to make sure if my eyes weren't uh, deceiving me or something. And actually the leaves did change color a little bit so it went up to that 1.4 but the quaking aspen had stayed the same for up to five weeks now <clears throat> and then week six september 29th 2020 the green ash went up the scale again to 1.7 and then the quaking aspen stayed at 2.4 still wasn't until week seven where I saw some major change in the tree color or the not tree color <laughs> leaf colors. And so the green ash went up to two point seven, which is a major um, change from one point seven. So about one point oh on the leaf color chart, and then the quaking aspen went up by point two. And week eight. October 16, 2020, I saw another major change in leaf color on the green ash, and it went to that orangish, yellowish color. So it went to a three point, I want to say like a 3.5 on the scale. Couldn't really determine which one to go with, so I just went in the middle. There we go. Um, but the quake and aspen stayed the same at 2.6, right? Yep. And then week nine, we had that freakish snow thing happen. So <laughs> the green ash lost all of its leaves. 
But surprisingly, the Quaking Aspen seemed to hold on to its leaves the most, even though you could see like the wind was blowing it a little bit. So, but it did change color a bit. Um, so it went up by 0.1 on the leaf color chart. And week 10, October 28, 2020, uh, the green ash still didn't have, or. Er, or we could see the, where the what color the leaves changed to. It was to that brown, so it would be like a ten on the leaf color chart. But I did, I put not on the leaf color chart because it's technically not on the tree, <laughs> and I didn't know what to do about that. So yeah, that's what I went with. Um, but then uh, the quaking aspen went up again by point one on the leaf color chart. And then by week 11, November 3rd, 2020, that's when I started seeing change on the Quaking Aspen, and it went up to a 3.4 on the leaf color chart. Uh, and then week 12, November 11th, 2020, um, the Quaking Aspen then started losing its leaves, so then it went up to a 10 on the leaf color chart. And then by week 13, November 23rd, 2020, which is Monday, of this week, both of the trees didn't have any leaves on it, on them. Conclusions, result of the experiments is that yes, one of the trees was going to lose its color faster and ha if its leaves fall quicker than the other, it just ended up being for one tree being the, and that tree being the green ash. I believe though that one week we had snow, it may have affected the outcome of the loss of leaves and the change of color. Uh, or no, it that changed the color. Um, that that was more natural. Um, but losing the leaves was a bit unnatural for the tree because the green ash lost its leaves before the quaking aspens, which surprised me that both trees didn't lose their leaves. But yeah. Obviously, though, the two species behave differently than the other, though, which may have been suspected originally since there are two different trees and two, meaning two different species. But this just proves that um, how they behave. Anyways, thank you for watching my tree project video, and I hope you all have a good one. Stay safe.